Hi, I'm Peter. I love to run. And today I'm in Hong Kong and I'm going to run down this hill, show some good um, scenery and then run through the city and along the coast and things like that. So you'll hear my little um, stopwatch starting right now. And we go. It should be a 12 kilometer run unless I get lost. And there's a high likelihood that I will get lost. <laughs> Because I always get lost when I'm in Hong Kong. The streets are a maze. But the first part, going down the hill, is good because it's all... Um, I know where to go for that. I'm not going to get lost in there. There's the forest. I'm going to just um, show you the uh, one little lookout. This is the first lookout. Because I'm on top of the, of the mountain. So I can see both sides of Hong Kong. I'm looking, I'm heading south right now, as you can probably see on the map. There's a map on the screen. Where can I go here? Around these girls. And from this lookout, you should be able to see basically the South China Sea. If I go in a straight line that way, they're the islands, they're the Hong Kong islands. The first place, the first landmass to hit would be probably Borneo. And then if you go through that, you'll go through some Indonesian islands and then um, hit the northwest um, corner of Australia. And then of course, if you keep going, you'll get to Antarctica. But we're not doing that today. I'm not going for a big swim. I'm going this way. That's kind of through the gap, but I'll show you when we get there. It's a good view and that's from the main kind of Victoria Peak lookout and um, restaurants and things like that. I could go on that trail where those girls are, but um, it's all steps and things. I'd rather run on the road. So this is my first run in Hong Kong. Uh, it took me two hours to get here from my place in China. The main part of that was Oh, the, the border crossing was alright. It was a bit busy, but it was alright. It took about half an hour to do that. My legs are a little bit sore today because I had a mountain run yesterday um, just near my home in, in Shenzhen in China. And um, I think by the time I get down, my legs are a little bit sore. My, my quads, like the upper legs. And um, they're, gonna be, they're gonna be hammered. <laughs> They'll be totally destroyed by the time I get down. But that's all right. Oh yeah, so I'm not gonna get lost on the mountain. But once I get into the city, it's an absolute maze. If you've never been to Hong Kong, if you're from Hong Kong or you used to live here or if you visited for any extended time, you'll know what I'm talking about. But any of you people, that have lived here will know Hong Kong a lot better than I do. I don't actually come here that often, even though I live very close to here. So, you might be thinking, why do you go that way? <laughs> this is the better way to go there. Okay, because basically, what I'm going to do, here's a steep hill now, what I'll be doing is, once I'm down, I'm going to head towards Central Station, which is basically the red light district but it's the middle of the day so there'll be none of that I don't even know if it's still open these days anyway at night and then I'm going to keep going north till I get to the Hong Kong Convention and Exhibition Centre and then follow the coastline um, with the Kowloon and the new territories um, visible across the bay and then I'll um, once I get to the Sun Yatesen Memorial Park, I'll turn left back into the city and I'm gonna finish and hopefully, if we time it right, hopefully meet Cece there. She's doing her own thing in Hong Kong while I'm doing this run. And we're gonna catch up for dinner and all of that after. You can see what time it is on the screen. I think it's about two o'clock, isn't it? Oh, I'm gonna go down here. These vans were not giving me any room and then I remembered there's a path okay so this is 
not that many people come up this part this time. Most people just go to the restaurant, you know, the lookout that looks over um, Hong Kong City. So this might be new to a lot of you, even if you've been to Hong Kong before. But you'll be, it'll be familiar very quickly. By the way, I'm Peter, and I love to run all over the world. <laughs> but I haven't been too many places. I'm still building on it. Um, and the reason I'm doing this is because, and if you've seen any of my videos, this might be boring you by now, but I'll go through it anyway. And that is, during COVID, I needed to start using a treadmill because I couldn't run outside. Here's the view. Wait. Just a quick run. I'll do it better down here. And um, anyway, on the treadmills, I got really bored because I run a lot each day, about 15 kilometers per day. And um, I noticed on YouTube, some other people must have been feeling the same because they started publishing their runs or wherever they might be in the world. And then to be able to be looked at while on YouTube and it's like, it tricks your mind, you know? Like I was, I was addicted. It made me running on the treadmill so easy after that because my silly mind, my stupid mind, would very quickly just think that it's in those places, whether that was in Switzerland or or um, uh, Rio or Central Park in New York or anywhere, almost anywhere. So I thought this is really cool. I want to make some of them uh, because there wasn't many being done of China, and I noticed something else too that all of them were quiet which is fine because I would just listen to music anyway but nobody was really explaining what was going on so I'm kind of doing that but I'm also trying to be a little bit of a tour guide as well um, and by the way if you don't want a tour guide and I understand that and I might be annoying uh, just turn my volume down and just enjoy the scenery put some music on you don't have to listen to me okay I'm not offended I want you to watch it, but you don't need to listen to me. All right, now this is the big, the big famous lookout area. I don't think CC's here. I'm just going to slow down. I'm just going to walk a little bit. It's pretty busy. If you haven't been here for a while, or if you've never been here, you might be slightly blown away. But yeah, this is this is the uh, busy part. Oh, it looks like there's a race here. It looks like a finish line to me. Maybe there's some kind of a race going up the hill. It's a very popular part of Hong Kong. I won't spend too much time. I'm just going to look at my phone for a second to see if CC is messaging me. And then I promise I'll leave quickly again. By the way, there's another... You can see the south side um, over here as well. But I'm not going to go too far right now. Let's see. By the way, this is my new DJI Action 5 camera. I've realized that it's much better to hold it on a stick in my hand than to have it on my head. So I'm, I'm using a selfie stick for this. And CC is not here. All right, I'm gonna keep going. And the, uh, by the way, if you're ever here, there's a big crowd over there. That's on the cable car. You can take a cable car up the hill if you don't wanna walk or take a taxi or whatever. Um, and it's pretty pretty cheap, it's good fun, um, but it's incredibly crowded all the time, and especially because this is the end of the Chinese National Day holidays, which makes it even busier. All right, down we go. I hope that this kind of looks all right on the screen. Oh, there she is. Hello. Cece. Hi. All right, running again. Now, it's busier here now. Excuse me. Thank you. Oh, oh. Jeez. Nearly got, nearly hit a pole. Oh, this feels nice in here. It's actually cooler now. It was really hot when I was 
at the top because it looks like there's a bit more cloud now and it's cooled down a lot which is good Can you hear my feet slapping? <laughs> it's a bit of a slappy. I didn't know cars went here. Oh, okay, they live here. All right. That'd be a hell of a drive every day. <laughs> so now I turn left here, I think. I think, or do I? Yeah, I must, I must. I'm going to Peak Tower. Now that's, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the right way. I mean, it can't be too wrong, I'm going downhill. I'm gonna end up in the city somewhere. Oh, they're running up. Many of the people that you see here will be um, people, uh, tourists from the rest of China still on their holidays. Um, I mean, there's still going to be China, uh, Hong Kong, you know, people are here too. And it is, it's a weekend, it's a Saturday today. But I think that most of the people here um, will be from other provinces in China. Hey. Rest spot. Now I can really feel the thumping on my legs now. The, the hill is actually steeper now. You probably can't pick it up. Although there's a topography map up in the top left hand corner and you'll see I'm going down a very steep hill. <laughs> It'll look like I'm just going down a cliff, I think. And you can see it goes like that for another, probably another kilometer or something. And then I'll be on relatively flat ground. How far am I going? Must be 2k? Yeah, 2k. Down, down, down. There's a lot of houses on this hill still, including right at the top. But I mean, real estate's so expensive in Hong Kong. You know, any piece of land will be developed if it's able to be developed, including on the sides of the hills. Oh, I nearly lost my footing then. I nearly went into that gutter. I was trying to get around that guy. So, if you've been to Hong Kong, what do you think of the plan? Do you think it's reasonable to go to those places? Is there other places that I should have um, ran past as well? Knowing that I don't really want to do much more than 10k. I would have liked to have done a few other places, including going over to Kowloon, but it's just not logistically possible for this run. But of course, if you want, <laughs> and you, um, then make some suggestions and I can I can easily come back here and do more. I want to do the Dragon's Ridge trail run too. Hi, thank you. That's very different to this, so that's all. I think it's mostly a dirt trail. I haven't, I haven't done it before. I should have done it by now. I've been in China for 10 years and most of the time has been near here. Whoa, it's super steep here now. I oh, basically got the brakes on. <laughs> They're still quicker than we walking uphill. Oh. Ouch, 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 ouch. The things I do. What's my speed? Oh yeah, it's about five minutes per kilometer. Sorry if you're in the USA. 
I don't know what that is in miles an hour. I'm nearly at the um, bottom of the really steep part, but then it gets steep again later on because there's the sta staircases. I actually travel along the, where the cable tram goes at the end. Turn sharp right here around that van. Oh, my legs. All right, this feels really weird. <laughs> Going up a little bit of a hill now. And a super narrow road. Nice road though. should maybe even start checking the map for the best way to get to Wan Chai which is my next kind of stop or should I just wing it and just try to figure it out maybe I'll do that you might hear me swearing though <laughs> little stream controlled in a gutter there's some other ones that are much more natural than that up here, I'll show you. They're pretty nice. This one. Pretty good. Yeah. And I'm going to go over. Wait a second. Oh, yep. That's all right. I was just checking something. I wasn't sure whether I had um, horizon lock. Fitted. Oh yeah, here's a nice one. You just go up a bit closer. Wow. Nature. Actually, it looks nice and cool. But I'm going to go back. I've got a job to do, haven't I? Okay. Three K. That means I should be a quarter of the way. It's come pretty quick. Another one, another one of them and I'll be halfway. Obviously. Another mountain stream. That's a bigger one. I'll just have a quick look up there too. It's a bit further away though. And it's all prohibited to go into there so I won't. Although well, like getting arrested would make good footage, wouldn't it? But I won't. Much more suburban feeling here. You can see all the towers, more big towers and things. I live in a tower like that. You would have seen, you can tour my apartment. Um, not right now, <laughs> but yeah, the view. Reduce now so anyway let's get on with this video um, the reason I'm doing this is because uh, you see the thumbnail you see the title you know I'm seeing this stuff on the internet from some other youtubers 
they're saying don't go to uh don't go to hong kong it's dangerous never go there i saw one guy even saying um uh, don't even go through Hong Kong airport. Don't even transit through Hong Kong. And I'm thinking, what? That's so crazy. So, um, I wanted to show you what Hong Kong is like. Uh, today, it's 2024. It's the start of October. Okay, this is Hong Kong these days. If you've been here before, does it look very different? Very different. Does it look dangerous? Can you see lots of sinister looking guards and things that were not here before I feel pretty safe I think it's um I think a lot of them are made not even for political reasons just for clickbait they just want to sensationalize some angle to get people to think oh no <laughs> Hong Kong's dangerous let me see I need to know this but in reality as you can see here, so far anyway, maybe <laughs> I might be eating my words later. I might get attacked in all different ways I'm going down these steps. Because I've got a link up with the cable tram path down here. See, I do know my way. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to do this run to, I guess, try to dispel that. Of course, I'm not going to, for some people, they're already too convinced about the horrors of Hong Kong now that it's been absorbed back into China. Horror. Um, keep going down. <sighs> Reminds me of um, the Heart of Darkness book at the end. Yeah. You'll know what I'm talking about if you've read the book or anything else to do with it. The horror! The horror! Oh, it's steep here again. That's the horror. My legs, my quads are screaming it. Um, so why else am I doing this? So I'm doing it for uh, the treadmill part of it. I'm doing it to dispel that stupid kind of um, meme going around that it's too dangerous here to visit. And, um, and I'm doing it so that people can um, have a little bit of a snapshot of the, some of, not all of them of course, but some of the, the main highlights of Hong Kong and how they link together. Because when, you, when you're a tourist in a place, you normally use taxis or public transport or whatever to get around. And I love being able to run between those places because what people often don't realize is how close they actually are. So they're actually within, you know, commuting distance on foot. Uh, which way is it now? I'm a little bit... I think I've got to cross the road here. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to have to break a law. Oh, no, there's a crossing here. Okay. That's right. Yeah, I remember this now. Have to wait. The red taxi. Okay, thank you. Now I keep going down here. Tramway path. That's where I'm going to be. By the way, I couldn't do much with Cece. She was having severe cramps in her feet because um, she only uh, decided to walk the, the mountain once we got here. But she wasn't prepared for it, her clothes, especially her footwear. She was wearing flip-flops or thongs, as I call it back home in Australia, as Australians call them. Yes, I know thongs are different in other places. Um, so this is a tram line. I'm gonna sweep up. And it goes straight up. It's really cool. It's worth doing if you come to Hong Kong. Um, but I'm, doing, I'm not doing it today. Obviously. But I've got to watch what I'm doing here because it's, you can see this, the path is sort of flat and then but still a steep downhill. But then the steps as well. And if I'm not watching exactly where my feet go, I'm going to go somersaulting down, which won't be good for the um, video so I won't do that okay it might look spectacular while I'm doing it but it's probably gonna mean the end of it and I don't want that to happen so uh, I think I got across this bridge do I it's something like that yeah yeah and then I go in here 
Try and wait for. What do you think? Do you like this? Is it fun going down the hill? You can see it varies quite a lot between the the very top where they had the barbed wire, you know, in the road, through to that first part of the um, trail, and now with these stepped area, as we're getting closer to the uh, the base of the hill, and we're getting to the tramway main entrance. Hello, thank you. So yeah, I'm near where the there's some trams there. I'm a bit disappointed that I haven't seen a tram go past. That would have been good, but anyway, it's a tram. You, you've probably seen trams before. They're like square little bus car things that go on rails. <laughs> Down here. Now I think I've got to cross the road again. Is there a road crossing here? I'm gonna do it anyway. Alright, go down. I'm not sure if I actually did come this way. Yeah, I must have. Ooh, did I? Oh, I'm on the wrong side. I'm on the wrong side. When you go back up, because there I can see the. Or is it? Yeah, 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 I'm on the wrong side. Uh, I'm gonna walk. Nice bike. Nice black BMW um, hybrid bike. Alright, this is it. Oh, there's a tram. Oh, it's so exciting! Wave. Let's wave. Hello. No one's waving back. No one's waving back. The kid, yes, give me a wave. No, 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 no. No waves. That's alright. I'm sure they were thinking, you peasant, as if I'd wave to you. Pretty girls. Okay, yeah, so this is the start. This is where it actually, that's the very start of the tram, but I can't go in there because I haven't paid. But you load, you actually um, enter it from there, and then when you're coming back, it comes back down this way again. And um, this is the exit. So I can pretend that I've just done the tram. Now into the urban craziness of Hong Kong. And yes, it's busy. This is the line, by the way, you can, but I'm saying, you know, the tram's great, but there are lines involved. You can see there, that's the start of it, and it goes down, down, down. And I think there's about 40 people on each tram and the trams leave every 10 minutes, so it can take a long time to get through all of that. Like, it's not a good day to be doing it. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Maybe I should be polite and walk, because I'm not gonna push through all, all these people, I don't think. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. King Rangisha. Thank you. I thought they would understand that. I spoke some Chinese then. King Rangisha. Oh, sorry. My legs only run. But I can't. It's almost stopped here, isn't it? I just have to be patient. It's oh, almost stopped. So yeah, while I'm doing that, here's some skyline. That's the HSB, HSBC building over there. And Bank of China is in this area too. The Bank of China is that 
Is that big one there? For God's sake. I'm gonna go into the I'm gonna go into the road. I'll literally be on the road before rather than be stuck in that crowd for any longer. I'm still stuck. Alright, let's do it. Now I think I can take a shortcut through the park, but I don't think I will. I think I'm going to just stick on the roads. Yeah, there's the HSBC, this Bank of China. I think. <laughs> What's my speed? Um, what happened to my... Wait a second. Oh yeah. I'm going slow. Is that really my pace? Huh? Wow, look at that building. It's wild. Now, this I think is Queen's Road or Queen's Way, yeah. This is more trams in here. Like, there's a tram. The double decker tram, they're really cute. See that? So I hope I can just follow this until I get to Wan Chai. I think I can. And then I'll turn left and head towards the ocean, or the bay I should say, no, it's not the ocean. I gotta say, Hong Kong's not the most pedestrian friendly place. It's got good public transport, but um, I think they want people to use public transport because Often if you're on foot, you've got to loop around and you've really got to know where to go to know where to go in to shopping centres and when you need to go over the road with pedestrian crossings and when you should be outside on the ground. I don't know what that one's called. Golden scene. I guess it's the golden scene shopping center. And uh let me know if you see any homeless people too. I haven't yet. Okay, what's going to happen here? Oh yeah, I think I can get across. I've got big signs here saying, look left, look left, because um, oh. Hong Kong uses uh, drive on the left hand side of the road, and mainly in China, drives on the right hand side of the road. So if there's tourists here from the rest of China, um, it can be dangerous for them because they're not expecting cars to be there, you know. So there's um, always writing on the roads itself saying, Look left! Look left! <laughs> That's where the cars are. 
and look right. Busy right now. So obviously this is the heart of um, Hong Kong now. Coming into the Wan Chai area. How many kilometers am I? Okay. Yeah, I might be right there. I'm gonna have to check on the map. Wait a second. It might even be time to turn. <laughs> you will know more than I do because you can see the map on the screen. I can't see that. I've got to get my phone out. Because like I said, I don't know it enough to be able to do that. And my phone's not playing. further. Yep. Another few blocks. Okay, I'm going to run again. Sorry about that. So do you know this place? Do you recognize it? And how does it look different? You can stop or pause the video, of course, if you want to see anything that I've missed. I'm kind of inclined to want to go up that way, up the hill a little bit again. So there's some good spots up there. But I guess I'm doing enough today. Maybe that's another time. Let me know if you want me to explore those areas. jewelry everywhere here okay so the tram lines are gone but that's okay and I think this overpass pedestrian overpass over here is where I need to turn left but now that I'm here I should just see because there's a bit of a bar district a little bit further but I might just check out see whether it looks dead there's a McLaren store the McLaren store is a sure sign that a place isn't doing too badly and there's a Rolls Royce shop a little bit further <laughs> funny I mean we've got Ferrari and a McLaren store in, um, in Shenzhen, but not a Rolls Royce. Yeah. But you know, I'm in the wrong street for this, aren't I? I'm going to cross. Yeah, there's a roller. Okay, go back again. I'm a bit hungry too. That's all right. Doing a location update. Oh wow, weird. Okay. I kind of went the wrong way. Which I knew I was gonna do. Anyway, it's alright. I'm gonna cross here. Soon. You can just enjoy the view. I oh, know I can. Alright. I'm gonna take a shortcut here. Get passed by a Maserati. Not the truck, there's a Maserati sports car behind it. And I'm going to outrun the Maserati with a bit of help from that truck.
certain charm about this place, isn't it? I actually know I'm gonna, I've changed my mind, I'm gonna go this way. Sorry, there's a Maserati by the way. Because there's a, looks like there's a, a bit of a, some um, celebration-y arcade here with lots of flags. Hong Kong and Chinese flags all over the place. This might be my thumbnail. Wow. Lots of yeah, Hong Kong and Chinese flags. And dangerous. Can you just pretend? I'm gonna angle up a little bit. Yeah, it's nice in here. A bit different than the mountain. The mountain was nice too, in a very different way than this. So, there's the trams again. Yeah, I missed. I lost the tram line. That's what. That's what I did wrong. I followed the road, which was not what I should have done. But it's alright. Busy, busy. Will I cross as well? I think I will. Lots of people there. And lots of trams here. Oh, here's Rain Tri Station, okay. So this is where I was heading. So from here, I'm going to go north this way. To the coastline and I might need to go up there but I, I'll, I'll try not to there's a shopping center you can go through but it's gonna mess my GPS up a bit too much so I'll try and stay out on the, on the um, great outdoors if I can get across the road and I don't think I can to be honest I might have to. Is it? No, oh, I can go to the end. It's all right. So if you've been to Hong Kong, you must have been here. It doesn't look any different to me. Apart from that mixture of flags of Hong Kong and Chinese flags together. I guess once upon a time that would be um that would have been um Hong Kong and British flags together wouldn't it? So yeah I guess that's a big difference. I'm gonna go. Can I get fined for that? I don't know how I don't know how just how illegal that is here. <laughs> I can definitely do it. In China, in Shenzhen, um, no, yeah, police don't give a damn. If I can get across here. But it's a bit too busy right now. But I'll sneak across when it's um, safe to do so. That's where I could have been going up the top there. That's um, see that it's a walkway. You can just keep going in there. I'm gonna go. All right, not too far. Although I think I do have to go up the top now. I don't think I can get across this big road. Whoop! Nearly took out the flower boy. Now, how do I get up? Oh yeah, this spot. Alright. Oh, and here too. I got here. Walking. crowds and people stopping all over again. It's 
guy's noisy stuff. <laughs> I can see Kowloon across the bay. I'm not going to go down the escalator. Not because I don't want the rest. A little pause would be nice, but those guys are not going to move out of my way, so gotta keep moving. Okay. I think this is the last road before the ocean, although I could easily be wrong. Maybe, yeah, there's one more after this one, and then we're at the exhibition center. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, I should put a plug in. If you've been watching this far, well done, you've made it to the water almost. Stage one is over, and we're over halfway. Wow, I should have already put a plug in for giving the video a like and all of that stuff. So if you're still watching now, of course, you must be somewhat interested enough to give me a like for it please it really helps me out and to help you out and me i won't pretend otherwise to help us both out please also subscribe because um it helps my channel but it's not just for me it also helps notify you of any other stuff that i make so that you can come checking out running around using for your treadmill or whatever you're using it for another part of the world. Off we go. Okay. That's, that's Kowloon over there now. This is the exhibition center. Convention and exhibition center. I used to work for an LED, LED company and we'd come down here twice a year to try to sell LEDs to the world. Um, very competitive market. I found that when I was, I was working for a Chinese company, when I was um, at these exhibitions, it was very easy for me to make business contacts because any Westerner would prefer to deal with other Westerners just for ease of communication and things. So I was really good at, <laughs> at that side of it. But what I struggled with was most of those people that would do that weren't really serious buyers they were just being polite so i'd waste a lot of time then trying to follow up with them getting them to actually follow through and buy something which almost never worked and it was uh, yeah after doing it for um, about three or four years i just gave up made no money didn't lose any money though he did so, so right. It's a good experience still. So yeah, this is the convention and exhibition center. And the crowds that are here, I'm gonna go right to the water. Wouldn't mind a drink. Wayne Chai temporary promenade. Okay. What's gonna slip into the ocean? <laughs> Those are famous. Um, Star Ferry, I think it's a Star Ferry, which is a public transport between between here, which is an island, Hong Kong is an island, and then and then that there is um, Kowloon and the New Territories, and that connects with the rest of China. So yeah, this is this is the island here. There's other islands too, like the airport's on an island over there, and there's lots of other islands like you saw from the mountaintop. But this is the main Hong Kong city island. Okay, all right, I'm gonna run again. That's my rest over. See if I can clean up some people who are not looking while they're taking their photos. I'm going to be along here for quite a while actually. I think about three or four kilometers. So buckle in and enjoy the view. It's a nice view. The sun's out, which is not good news for me because it's hotter than what I wanted it to be today. But anyway. That's all part of living in this part of the world.
and that's where I was actually see there that's where I came from that's the radio towers that I couldn't that I had the barbed wire gates in front of huh. nice A temporary promenade it looks if I see a shop I'm gonna buy a drink okay can I do that will you let me do that <laughs> I'm getting a little bit sick of holding the camera in my hand but it's not too bad either it's not as bad as i thought it would be so when i'm saying i'm a little bit sick of it you know i am but not to the point that i don't want to do it but horizon lock might have been a good idea some work going on here the crowd here Runner. Runner. It's a pretty spotty city, actually. And there are still a lot of foreigners that live here. Not as many as there used to be, but um, I know quite a few that were here that did leave. But most of the foreigners that I knew that were here then are still here now. Park. This might be a good thumbnail as well. Just here somewhere. I'm going to stop and just sweep so you can see what's behind me which is the exhibition center looks pretty good here okay so i'm sweeping around and that's where the exhibition center there and i'll keep going around now and go forward again okay by the way i've got a shirt on <laughs> and a backpack I'm carrying a whole set of other gear, um, dry clothes, because after this run, I'm not going to just walk around in squelchy, wet, sweaty, smelly clothes the whole time. I'll put those squelchy, wet, smelly clothes in my bag and have some nice fresh clothes to put on. But the um, squelchy, wet, smelly clothes, by the way, will be in a sealed plastic bag. So it'll be very smelly in there, of course, but um, hopefully the bag won't be too bad. Are there shops here? Not really. I want this shade. Okay, get in there. I see people with drinks. I'm gonna need a drink here. Just a kiosk. Oh, my wallet though. Um, I guess I'll have to. Wow, it's expensive here. It's alright. I just get a water. Hello. Uh, water please. Yeah. I'll go out here. <laughs> Give you a shot of it. Sweaty Australian having a drink of water in Hong Kong. Oh, 
it's good. It's really cold. Okay, I'm gonna walk a little bit while I drink this a bit. Ah, that'll do. All right, time to run again. Yeah, there's more runners here than in Shenzhen. People out in the, in the parks. Wait, let me have another drink. Oh. I think this heat's catching up with me. I was feeling good in the shadow of the mountain. But wow, now I'm in the sun, oh god. Okay, drink done. And yeah, there's no recycling bins here, but that's for a reason. And that reason is, is because the um, people that work in rubbish collection, they go through everything anyway and find all of the recycles as well. So. They don't really care, even if there's recycle bins. Um, they never really push you to use them because they, they, they've said to me before, we go through everything regardless, so don't worry about it, just put it in anything. Ferris wheel. here again it's good fish and chips in there it's expensive but it's good I think that's one of the ferries to go over to um, Kowloon. I don't know whether they're operating like they used to though. I think that's one of the things that actually has changed about Hong Kong. I think the ferries now are more almost uh, tourist ferries rather than transit like commuter ferries. Sun Ferry there. I remember this in the map now. I think I'm about halfway to the park. Not too far. <laughs> yeah, my speed's not as bad as I thought it would be. What is it, about five minutes per kilometre? Okay. Oh. 
sorry I've kind of run out of things to say <laughs> plus I'm getting a bit uncomfortable as you can probably gather Westerners here, more than I thought there would be. And now I drank too much water and I'm feeling oh, just bloated. I need a big burp or something. <laughs> and those three people still. I thought there was a guy there that might have been, but he was just a dude doing push ups. like the Coast Guard right there on my right with the two flag types central government here ten K good I don't know whether I can go a lot more. I'm just more tired than I thought I would be. So this is new I think, right? Does anybody know this? Or maybe it's not. I think these boats go to the islands around Hong Kong, different ones. So they're like, not only for tourists, but also for people that live there because those islands are habited with um, villages and fishermen and things like that. So I think that mostly there'll be tourists, but um, I think that the people who live there also use these boats. <sighs> China Merchant Tower. Okay. Is that a helicopter I can hear? Yeah. On the roof, up there, you probably can't see it. I guess I'm allowed to walk through here. There's a McDonald's. an advertisement for our McDonald's anyway. I gotta say there's a lot more electric vehicles in Shenzhen than there is here. It's very traditional still here in Hong Kong. It's really fallen behind in, in that respect. I haven't seen many electrics. All of the buses in Shenzhen are electric. 
all of the taxis in Shenzhen are electric. I haven't seen any electric taxis or buses here. There's a Tesla, so, but yeah, looks like it might only be private cars. I think there's something like 20,000, is it 10,000 or 20,000? Anyway, it's at least 10,000 electric buses um, that make up the Shenzhen bus fleet. It's huge, I mean, it's a big city. And there's even more taxis in it, of course. There's like double or triple, you know, the amount of um, electric taxis than there are buses. A lot of those are um, Didi's, which is a Chinese Uber, um, but all of them, they're all electric, and there's thousands and thousands of them. Maybe another reason I'm not feeling great on this run is um, I haven't really been uh, running with car carrying a backpack for a long time, and um, this, all of these clothes are reasonably heavy so there must be something in that that the weight has really been um, eating away at me as well I'm looking for excuses now, I know <laughs> I'm gonna run now what else, what other excuses can I pull out of my bag? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm old so there's that I'm 54 now But I think we're close to the park now. There was one moment back here that I was running and I was on the harbour. I don't know whether you noticed it. And I ran past a pretty girl and she had a really nice smile. And I think that if that turned out well, I, I might make that the thumbnail. So let's see. You will know, of course, because that's the first thing you'll see about this video. The thumbnail. Well, that might have just been something that looked good in the real world, but didn't turn out well, you know, as a, um, as a video image that I could make into a thumbnail. But I hope it turned out well, because I think that would be a, quite a good little, you know, um, title for it. Maybe with the word dangerous <laughs> or some other counter clickbait kind of thing. Not that I use clickbait, of course. Actually, yes, I do. Everybody does. If you don't, it's um, no one will ever see anything. It's not a matter of whether you, you try to use it or not. It's whether you're using it fairly or unfairly, and of course, unfairly. Use clickbait is just annoying, but I don't think anybody gets too offended if someone has just a oh, yeah, here it is. Here's the park Sun Yatsen, Yatsen or Yatsen Memorial Park. But yeah, I don't think anyone's too offended if it's a little bit clickbait ish in a productive way. Although I once did an experiment on a video and I made it completely unfounded clickbait. Like, frustratingly, nothing to do with the video. And it got a huge, it got like 25,000 views and hundreds of comments. But they're all negative. <laughs> I was called every curse word you can think of. <laughs> all right. So from here, I'm going to go to Hopefully, I don't think CC will be there, I think it's going to take her longer to get down the hill than it has taken me to do this run because her feet are all cramped up But I'm looking, oh there's it's that statue, I'm going to go to that in the middle of the park
can get in here. <sighs> All right, let's go have a look at him. Do you know Sandy Hudson? If you do, tell me what you think about him. Dr. Sun Yatesen. He's a famous Chinese person. And... I think he was a lot to do with um, establishing Hong Kong University. I might very well be wrong <laughs> with that though. He might have been... It might have been the hospital instead, but it was something like that. He was a well-known um, pioneer to help a um, Chinese person who was very instrumental in establishing the city. He was not a British person, <laughs> which is why he's, you know, celebrated as well. All right, I need to look at my map because I need a very clear way to get to Soho district because I really don't know how to get there from here. I know it's kind of that way, but that's not good enough. And I know I kind of will need to go over some uh, walkways, and there's one right here, so I can just start with that, I guess. I'm gonna write Soho My phone is wet and slimy and not working well. Soho area of Hong Kong. Good. Okay. Pretty easy. Go over here. Uh, I should run. I should run up this hill. I really don't have it in me though. I need a coffee. A one hundred dollar coffee. I'm not joking, but it's 100 Hong Kong dollars. <sighs> Which is about um, 14 US dollars, I think. Still expensive. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. My Chinese was not going to work on them. I could hear them already speaking Cantonese, which is the, heart, the language used here in Hong Kong. Wow. Okay. Pretty much just here. I think this is pretty much just uh, the Soho area. It's where the trams are. Ibis. Um, but it's up the hill a little bit. I'm going to go up the hill a bit because there is this sort of district area, and then the. Um, Soho is actually more about sort of better quality um, night spot. It's like it's like bars that are not red light, you know, it's strippers style bars. And I think it's just up here, up the hill slightly. I like that. It's so. So Hong Kong, oh, it's so Asia, really. Sixty 
dollar haircut, bargain. And that's about nine bucks US. You might be able to work out that um oh that um one US dollar buys about seven or eight Hong Kong dollars. Oh gee. Okay, now I should go this way. I think. Tell me. Comment below. Am I in the right or the wrong spot? I know this is the wrong spot, but it's near. Yeah. I should run again, shouldn't I? Oh, I remember being here, yeah. I remember that metro. Sai Ying Pun Station. By the way, the, um, if you're in the West and you haven't been to Hong Kong or China before you'll probably think that Chinese people all Chinese people sound like Ning Gong Wik Nai like that kind of style that's Hong Kong language, that's, that's Cantonese it's very different to um, Mandarin Chinese and the reason you'll be more familiar with the Cantonese is because most of the Chinese movies that you would have watched would have been made in Hong Kong. They use Cantonese for that. If, you, if you've ever heard Chinese people saying things like um, Shisho Jian and things like that. Shisho Jian is toilet by the way. Um, but it's got, a, it's got that real Mandarin sort of, you know, style. There's a lot of sh and uh, j, you know, in, in Mandarin. It's not really. Um, Canton is more about uh, goys and things like that. So yeah, you can tell that it, the the two languages pretty easily by listening for those sounds. There's no real goy sounds in Mandarin Chinese, and there's no real sh sound in Cantonese. <sighs> okay. Um, no, I don't think I'm going to really... I'm going to have to maybe give up on finding these cool bars. And it doesn't help that it's in the middle of the day. So none of them are actually open right now anyway. I hope they haven't closed down. I don't think they would have. Where am I on the map? I'm just looking at the map. On my phone right now. I'm in the area that they should be. This is where I should be. Wait, I'm just going to look for the road itself I got messages from CC it says heading down now faster than going up I think I'm in Soho Woo, near Bar Street okay cool oh wait CC wait CC same Soho I'll meet you here um, send me your location I'll go come to you and I think I'm in Soho as well, okay? I mean, I'm generally in the area, but I might not be exactly where you are. So don't go to Central, because that's where I just came from. Huh. That's pretty cool, look at that. Nice. Oh, there's some good graffiti in here. That's one thing we don't have in Shenzhen in, in China, like good graffiti. No, there's no graffiti really, only tiny little bits. But this is pretty cool. Look at that one. That's like, that's like Melbourne graffiti. Or Barcelona or <laughs> anywhere. I'm gonna have to, I'm 
mal, dann kann ich das her denken. Ring am Tag. And I am. Um, yeah, I'm over 12k. I didn't want to do any more than that anyway. Let's just do that. I might finish it in this park somewhere. Hello. So let's finish this thing. I'm still like, um, now she's like two kilometers away from me. I'm not going to do that. Let's just finish it in here. You know, I'm sure it's a well-known park. What's it called? Hollywood Road Park? Okay. We're in Hollywood. <laughs> Maybe this is connected to the film, the Hong Kong film industry. Right, so I'm going to swivel around and say goodbye. Goodbye. All right. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Oh, before I go, um, now's a chance. If you did get this far, well done. It's a long. It was a long trip. And of course, sorry, I'm going to say it again. Um, you must have liked it a little bit. So please give it a like. And if you want to um, help us both out, hit a, hit the subscribe. Um, and yeah, well, I'm looking forward to the next one. I've got a, the next video might be one in Beijing again. I filmed one in the, um, in the Hutong areas, the old Mongolian area um, of Beijing. There's quite a lot of it um, and it's really super cool. So um, please don't miss that. And the best way to make sure you don't miss it is to be a subscriber. Okay, see ya.